Old, old man struggling with a drum kit. <laughs> Good to go. I'm quite happy. I'll go here if you like. I can see everyone here. I'll, I'll, I'll put myself here. Yeah. Or do you want to go this side? No, no. no. Just go over here. So some musicians will play that they wanted to get away from time and chord changes and play something more abstract. Now that can be quite an intellectual thing where you're thinking more about abstraction. Other people do it more emotionally. Now that appealed to me more. But it's all interesting. So, so and, it, and, it, and both sides influence each other. But also it could get very, for me, that was quite an intense process because you're kind of, the other side of just being a musician is where do you start? I mean, I'm self-taught, so I, I hadn't been to college and studied a load of things to then say I want to get away from this or do that. So I was a bit, like I still, I've always liked certain pop music. I love rhythmic music, so I like, I used to like funk, well, I still funk anything, you know, that things that just sound good. I like emu emotional music, so a good song. Uh, you know, I talk about you know, Gordon Life, if you could read my mind. Uh, um, Wichita Lineman, Glenn um, Campbell. And I mean, he, he now, because he's, I mean, I didn't really know all that at the time when I bought the record, I certainly didn't know, but he was a phenomenal guitarist. And, and part of the wrecking crew and all this stuff, you know. But it was that, you know, I, I responded to the emotion of music. I, I sort of hope when I play, um, uh, the, the context that I'm playing, I mean, the, I sort of, I'm playing with the, the whole history of my instrument, my own personal musical history, um, uh, and trying to express something that's uh, true or authentic from, from that, within that context, in relation to everyone else's instrumental and personal musical history and how they're speaking from that um, yeah. so uh, it's a complicated thing but uh, it's it's a yeah a, a share a shared um, exploration I started, when I started playing electric, or playing with more particularly loud bands and saxophones and drums and so on, I'd pick up on my acoustic instrument. However, I used to get a lot of feedback. Yeah, the, the sound of the drums in particular reverberate in the body of the instrument. Um, so from that point of view, it's better to have a solid bodied instrument. But this one, yeah, this one is a handmade, a uh, handmade instrument of Violectra. It's Violectra number 187. Um, uh, it's a five-stringed instrument. So the bottom string is a C string, which is, so this means that the instrument covers the range of the viola as well as the violin. Um, however, the, all the, Strings are all it's set up uh, exactly like a violin, same length string as a violin. And, and I, I think, unfortunately, I, I think uh, all the festivals, Glastonbury included. I mean, it's, it's, so you look at it; it's like a corporate. 
not even if it's deliberately set out like that, but, but it's a, there's, a, there's a, a financial hierarchical structure according to, to, to the type of music you play. And uh, I found that very ironic because that, that some, you know, I, sometimes you, you, know, you felt you, you play with one type of band because I like to play in different styles. And one style of music, suddenly, you know, people would take much more seriously than another. And you think, well, these guys are much better musicians. And then they're expressing something that if you just stick it in front of people, you know they'll like it. You know, it's not a question of... <laughs> you know, I understand with the sort of way out and maybe the sort of completely free improvising. Uh, it, it sort of off people's musical radar a bit. But I think, one, I believe in giving people a chance. And the other thing is, there's a bit of a continuum there. So it's, it's not, it just isn't as, as straightforward as that.